Hi everyone, I'd like to do a demonstration for you of some of the new accessibility features for Vision on iOS 10 Beta. I've installed this a couple of days ago. It has got a few, obviously, a few bugs in it, and um, but you know, it looks quite good. Um, some of the colours, the contrasts at the moment are not very um, good in my opinion. I'm very low sight. I have a little bit of sight, and I do use the sight I've got just to give you an idea. So what I'm going to do is go over a few of the features. Some of the menus I'll run through and um, what we'll do is we'll see what we find. I, and one of the big features what's been added is the magnifier which is available and um, Apple say it's with a triple click on the home button which is what a lot of people would use for voiceover and you can use for other things as well like invert text and We'll look at that because I think they may have added a few more options for the triple click as well. However, if you're a voiceover user, you're familiar with using the three three buttons, the three home presses. I'm just doing that to keep the volume up. And so what I'm going to do is start by putting voiceover on and doing the triple home button click. Right, what you will notice from a visual point of view at the moment, is, and I'll switch voiceover in a second, is two options have come up. It hasn't actually switched voiceover on straight away. You've got a voiceover option and you've got a magnifier option. So what we'll do is we'll switch voiceover on. Voiceover on. Watch. And to open. I guess that if you are using voiceover only, you probably wouldn't use the magnification feature, so you would just have it as a triple finger. I'm just going to speed, words. speed things up a Audio little ducking. bit. Speaking rate, 63%. I'm just going to speed up a little bit. Audio ducking, containers, headings, language. English, little language, South African English. Little language, English, U, headings, containers, audio ducking, speaking rate. 64%, 59%, There we are, we'll slow it down a little bit as well. So what we'll do is we'll start off with some settings. settings. One thing I have noticed 59%. with with um, iOS 10 at the moment, it does freeze a little bit, so just to be aware of that. But obviously, this is the first public beta. Airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, personal hot carrier, notification, control center, do not disturb, general button. Right. Select it. So we'll go in and we'll locate the accessibility. Spotlight, sir. Hand off and sit. CarPlay. Accessibility button. Select it. Accessibility general. Accessibility heading. Vision There's a few new things added, especially on some of the vision side of things. So we'll, what we'll do is have a quick look at what's what's on here at the moment. So we'll go into vision. Vision, head it, voiceover. Into voiceover. Button. Voiceover, voiceover, accessibility, voiceover, voiceover. So. Voiceover speaks items on the screen. Tap once to select, double tap to activate the selected item. This is just the information you get on how to voiceover basically practice. use it in your practice. Button. Speaking rate. I haven't had a play around to see if there's any new actions or anything on here yet, so I, w I genuinely don't know if there is. Speaking rate, speak and I'm just going to go through go through some of the settings so you can hear and see what's new. Use pitch change, verbosity, button, speech, button, trail, button, audio, button, rotor, button, typing style, direct touch typing, button, phonetic feedback, character and phonetics, typing feedback. Button. Modifier keys. Always speak notifications. Navigate images. Large cursor. And the large Double cursor, just in case anyone doesn't use that at all, it puts a black line around the item what's being spoken. So if you are using it with better sight, it's quite a good little feature. Um, you can do that on the Mac as well. Um, I tend to have that on. Double tap timeout. 0.25s. And you can also do a double tap timeout as well to say, you know, how long you've got to press. I don't remember that, but that may have been there in iOS 9. Double tap timeout. Double tap timeout. Zero right. point two five S. Right, so we're at the bottom of there now. We won't go into any specific settings, so let's go back. Accessibility. Voiceover. Zoom. Zoom. I don't Button. think things have changed in Zoom, but let's have a look. Selected. Zoom. Accessibility. Back button. Zoom. And Zoom is the double magnification setting for magnifying the screen and making it easy to see. You can magnify the entire screen. Double tap three fingers to zoom. Drag three fingers to move around the screen. Double tap three fingers and drag to change zoom. Follow focus. Un 
Smart typing. And smart typing will switch to Windows in when a keyboard appears and move the window so that text is synced with the keyboard is not. That's quite a good feature as well. It was on iOS 9 where if you can obviously manage to use the keyboard or you want to, but you want the screen magnified, you can have smart um, typing on so you can see the keyboard as well. That's quite a good little feature. Show controller off. That's like a little um, little controller on the screen so you can move around the screen a little bit quicker. The Zoom controller allows quick access to Zoom controls. Bullet tap wants to show the Zoom menu. Bullet double tap to zoom in and out. Bullet when zoomed in, drag to pan Zoom content. There we are. Zoom region. Full screen zoom. Button. There are two different ways of accessing Zoom. One is the full screen and one is like the region you're looking at. I personally have it set for full screen. Zoom filter. None. Button. Maximum zoom level. Head it. Zoom filter. Let's have a look at this. Button. Selected. Zoom filter. Zoom filter. Selected. None. Inverted. These are different filters you can have for the if you use the zoom. Grayscale. Grayscale inverted. No light. No light. Let's see if this works. Low light. Selected. Yeah, light. It reduces the um, the brightness of the screen. Inverted. We'll put it back to none for now. Zoom. Back button. And we'll go back. Zoom. Zoom. Accessibility. Zoom. Show controller. Off. Zoom. Re zoom. Fill. Maximum zoom level. Heading. And you can set the maximum zoom as well so that you don't zoom in too far. Maximum zoom level. Maximum zoom level. 11.5x. Adjustable. I will demonstrate the zoom so I when I um, when I go back to the home screen just to show that as well. Accessibility. General. Back button. Magnifier. On the button. But what I will do is I'll just switch to the home page. Settings. And I'll just Settings. demonstrate the zoom feature Double for tap, you. Um, I will turn voiceover off while I do this. So triple tap. Alert. Accessibility. Selected. Voiceover. Button. Select. And just turn voiceover. that off for now. I'm going to do a triple finger double tap and then using three fingers I can move around the screen and you can see it's all some of the apps there and, and you can change the zoom you can zoom in and out with and I've got this set very high because um, I was messing the other day and you can zoom right in and see in this case the um, the circles for the activity lock so I'll zoom out and I'll put the settings back on and then we'll switch voiceover back on. Right, so we're back into there. Settings, general, magnifier. We'll have a look at the um, settings for magnifier um, now and then we'll have a look at magnifier in a moment. Selected magnifier, accessibility, back magnifier. So I've got that turned on. Magnify and let you use your device's camera to quickly magnify things. When enabled, triple click the home button to start magnifier. Auto brightness. And adjust brightness and contrast based on ambient light settings. Adjust brightness and contrast based on ambient light settings. So there is only the two settings on here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back out of that. Accessibility. 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 Display accommodations. And this is a new, a new display option what's been added the accommodations which is actually very good i think it's there to to aid people who struggle to see the screen things with different light or different colors so you can actually modify the screen a little bit selected display accommodations display accommodate invert colors Off. so you've got your normal where you had the invert colors so you can do that i've just done that now so it's you can see it's white writing on a black background which i i think is good for general text i think it's I struggle with it for if there's graphics and things like that. Uh, but again, everybody's different. Off. Enabling invert colours will automatically disable night shift. Colour filters. Off. Right, so you've got the colour filters, so we'll have a look at this. Colour fil color filters. Filter preview. So what it's showing at the top of the screen for anyone who has got um, can see it is like a set of, sort of colours. The red, the yellow, the blue, the green, the orange. And then when you make the changes, it'll show the differences and color filters. also the screen itself. So we'll turn color, fil turn color filters on. And I'm going to leave voiceover on as well. So I think I was messing. So um, I'm just going to see if this actually does work. Ah, this actually doesn't carry the 
filter across via the the link to the apple tv unfortunately so um but it like now you've got more of a pink tinge to it green sash red filter you can Selected. have green sash red filter bring in more greens and reds green sash yellow filter potent i'm gonna try this see if this works Selected. color Selected. tint green no. sash red filter Do what Renovia. what you can do is some preset filters but you can also um have your own tint and your own choice so i mean i've got like a purple one at the moment green sash yellow filter selected color tint intensity and you can change percent. the Adjustable intensity one. of the color and you so can also change the, the colors so i'll go through the colors that increases the brightness and the, the color contrast heading purple and then you can change the hue, which actually applies like a, a, a color filter to the screen. Blue, turquoise, turquoise, green, yellow, orange, red. red. So you can go from red, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, turquoise, 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 turquoise. turquoise. There's actually two shades of turquoise. Blue, purple, indigo, violet, red. And then back red. to red again. So that is... Um, the color tint so if you do find certain colors give you glare you can um reduce those colors so that's quite a good Ash little feature color i'm just going to turn that off back button back button display accommodations so, accessibility reduce white point off. and then you've got your usual double tap to toggle like, setting reduce white point reduce the intensity of bright colors reduce the intensity of bright colors accessibility general magnify display accommodation speech button larger text uh, I'll just run through some of the other accessibility features for Vision as well, uh, which have been around for a while. Bold text. Button shapes. Off. Increase contrast. Button. That's quite a useful one if people do struggle to see the screen a little bit. Reduce transparency. You can actually reduce the transparency. So say you're in the search screen on the home on the home screen, and you um, you struggle because you've still got an image behind it. By turning off the transparency makes the keyboard and things quite a bit clearer. Improved contrast, darken colours. And you can darken colours as Drop well to make a, make a slight improvement on the, the colours. Reduce motion on slash off labels. And off. reduce motion is quite good as well. Double it changes the setting. animation from the home page when you're going in, in and out of applications and things like that. Interaction. Switch control. Off. Assistive turn. Touch accommodation. Keyboard. Shape turn. Vibration. Um, Automatic. These are more your other settings for for other um, accessibility features for switch control and for hearing aids and things like that. But we'll, Home button. Button. we'll we'll go down to the bottom for the um, the triple click and we'll see what options are on there. Reach the double tap hearing hearing device red flash throw mono audio phone noise cancel noise cancellation reduces ambient noise on phone calls when you are holding the receiver to your ear left right stereo back adjust the audio media. Subtitles, audio descriptions. You've actually got as well an option which has been around a while for audio description. So if, say, an iTunes video had audio description, you'd be able to have that set to automatically play. I've not come across anything that has that yet. Learning, headed, guided access, accessibility, sh accessibility shortcut. Accessibility shortcut. Let's have a look what's in there for you. Selected, accessibility shortcut. Triple click the home button for heading, selected, magnifier. I've got the magnifier set up, obviously. Selected. Voiceover. And I've got voiceover. Invert colours. Invert colours. Colour filters. Uh, so you can actually switch till the colour filters come on and off as well. Reduce white point. Reduce white zoom. point. And zoom. Switch control. Assistive touch. Assistive touch. So you can have a, also now have some of the switch control and other things available at the same time as well. So, so what we'll do is we'll have a look at the magnifier. I'm just going to quickly grab something what is readable. And I've got a map and I'm also going to turn the light on. That will make a difference to the image on the screen, unfortunately. But um, I will see what we can do for you. Um, so I'm going to switch on the magnifier now for you. So again, um, Double tap. In fact, I'll switch your voice over off if that's okay. Alert. Accessibility shortcuts. Selected. Voice over. Select. Voice over off. 
um, with this being more of a visual thing. Uh, some people may be familiar with apps like Brighter Bigger, and um, which is a really good app for magnifying the um, text and using the camera. But I think this is actually slightly, um, slightly better in some respects. Um, so let's have a see. So here we go. I'm switching it on for the first time. Uh, I'm not set up in the, the greatest um, place for doing that, but I'm just going to quickly um, show you that in action. Um, I'm quite good for quickly focusing as well. Let's zoom in on some of this text. Um, your visit. And if you, some of the settings on here, uh, you've got a button in the bottom middle which allows you to take a fees frame and then you can obviously move around the page. Um, you've also got a magnifier um, option which is the, the bar across the middle near the bottom. That allows you to zoom in and out at the bottom as well. In fact I'm going to make a little bit of space so I can demonstrate this better. You can turn the light on which is actually <clears throat> not what I'm doing here, so I do apologise. Right, there we are. The light, you can turn the light on, which is the icon, which has just turned yellow at the bottom left of the screen. At the side of that, you've actually got a focus lock as well. So that is focused. That's focus lock. And if you see, that actually goes out of focus. We can unfocus like that as well. So uh, what we'll do is we'll open this document, which is uh, a book on from the train museum actually in in New York, and we'll just show some of the, the magnification here. I'm just going to zoom in, zoom right in, and it actually keeps very good focus as well. Um, We'll try the feeds frame. There we are. I froze that frame. Oh, and then you can move around and zoom in and zoom out on the the page. So that could be very useful for, I suppose, a notice sheet or something where you just want to get a quick snap and then you want to move around and have a look at that. Uh, I'll unfreeze that. So you just click on the button again to unfreeze. So we can zoom in and zoom out. One very useful feature though are like the colour overlays. A lot of people may remember the CCTVs where you can change colours. So there's a button on the right hand side which allows you to do a lot of settings. So let's go into there for you. And what you have on here is contrast and brightness. I'm just going to move those up and down now to show. Um, so you could actually really increase the contrast. You can't zoom in that mode, so let's just come out and let's see. So you've got a different sort of contrast on there. So it is a lot more contrast between the black and the white. Let's put that back to sort of normal. Uh, we've got invert, so we can do that. Um, and again, we can make that inversion uh, quite... Um, quite um, black and white without too much grey scale but as usual you do sort of lose a little bit on the focus so but as you can see there that is actually quite clear even with the movement so we'll, um, we'll put that back roughly as it was and we'll turn the invert off then what you have got is like the colour filters so let's just come out and zoom out a little bit you can pinch as well to zoom so I'm going to see if I've got something with a bit more colour on it here we go, we've got um, a graphic here, so we'll, hopefully this will work. But you've also got the filters, so we've got like a blue, blue and white filter, again, can be inverted. We've got a yellow and blue filter, and again you can change the contrast on that. We've got the black and white, which again gives you just a black and white image and again we can make all those changes we've got a black and yellow and we've got a black and red 
again can all be inverted so I have to say I do think the, the magnifier is actually um, very good and let's go back to here yeah, and it is pretty quick on the on the zoom in as well and the focus so and even an angle let's have a see so yeah um, that is actually very good so a good feature what is being added one thing what is going to be quite interesting as well just go back to the home page is one of the features to be added to the apple watch is silent time because there's a lot of people know the apple watch has got voiceover control as well and voiceover features so they're going to use the haptic feedback to tap on your wrist how they do that i'm interested to find out they might do it like on the sort of the, the clock the watch you can get through rnib like the which is like the pebble uh, which uses vibrations for the hours the minutes and then the seconds or the hours and minutes i should say um, but it'd be interesting to see what that happens and when that comes out i do apologize for rambling on a little bit i wanted to really cover some of the features um, on the accessibility because i know there's not many videos out what cover everything in detail i've not obviously gone into voiceover that much a lot of people are familiar with it but I wanted you to see, especially some of the new vision features as well. Um, like I said, the, the new colour filters, which unfortunately don't get transmitted via the Apple TV, which is a shame. And also the, the magnifier. Um, right, well, what we'll do is I'll, um, I will finish there anyway. So um, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed and I um, hope you like some of the new features. Take care and bye-bye.